Hi, I'm Chrissy Red, here to talk about uh, 2020 issues, so this will be dated in 2021. <laughs> but because of what's everything that's going on, it's an interesting time, and it's interesting to see how, how people are coping with uh, worldwide in common issues. Um, and of course, uh, it, for the transgender community, since 2013, it, it, I'm thinking in my mind, so what has changed in those seven years? Uh, is it any better, any worse? Uh, are we more recognized? Are we uh, still hidden? Uh, are we still LGBT, T, or are we sort of removing ourselves from that? Um, it's, it's, it is a very interesting time. Now, so my perspective, and this is just on the fly, uh, um, so I'm not really, you know, sure what words to use sometimes. Anyway, so yeah, the, is, is passing an issue today? So that's the question. Uh, is passing still a big deal since... 2013 since Caitlyn Jenner and then, you know, that whole sort of wave of like, here I am, this is me. Uh, I mean, I see it constantly still happening, young and old. The young, it's interesting, the young pretty, they, they adapt, maybe they stumble a bit, and then they their look becomes very nice and very refined, but they're young, right? Their body can change much easier. Uh... And of course, the older people, it, it's a little harder and, and it's certainly hard to change habit. And that is how you want your voice to sound, um, how you hold your body up, uh, many issues. Okay, so the big one is, is, is there still an issue with passing? Is this still a big deal? Well, absolutely, it certainly is. Surgery, cosmetic surgery is still like huge and growing. Um, makeup and like the makeup that they do now, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, the only problem with makeup is as far as passing, um, a lot of the times we want to pass in person. We, we're, we're, we're standing in front of human beings who are looking right at your face. And if you are sort of trying to alter your looks with makeup and the the contouring and uh, you know whatever uh, i i'm here to say i am not a makeup person right uh if you've watched my videos before i sort of will show how to put on makeup just to freshen up your look and, and for me to pass or start of the day, right anyway uh so when you're wearing the heavy makeup, that's the only thing I wonder about, isn't it? Still, like even me would be like, "What's up with that girl?" Like spatula. Just kidding. What a bitch. Um, again, surgery, the facial feminization. Uh, I would still like to have that surgery, and maybe a slight facelift too as I get older, and then I can spend the rest of my fifties like, "Hello, look at me." I've never considered getting breast surgery. Uh, I don't, I, I just don't think I, I want big fake things inside my chest at this time, right? Uh, I feel like I, I've developed enough that I can get by and a good bra helps. Um, again, makeup, I've talked about makeup. I've done videos on makeup. And like I say, when you're meeting people uh, and you wanna feel like you're passing Making things stick out, even the makeup's great. When things stick out, that regular everyday person is like, hmm, you know. So unless you're going to a modeling thing or some fancy shindig, uh, a, a house party where you know people. But if you're going to, you know, the mall, the, uh, the regular workplace, then having like too much makeup and eyelashes and blah, blah. It doesn't say, oh, that's a transsexual woman. What it says that they, they what it does is it makes you want to look closer. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. 
and then they start, do you get it? Do you get what I'm saying here? Uh, being subtle helps as far as passing day to day and in with, with people. And that sh really includes those of us who date men. Uh, when you, that's the thing when you date men on, well, I'll just do a whole separate thing on dating because it's, it's a big issue, isn't it? And I'm talking about online dating and what you give out, what you show, and then what happens in person, right? And it's, you know, my experiences, I've talked a little bit about it. Anywho, so passing, it's still an issue, yes. Now, one of the things that I have found, and, and it's a terrible thing to have to say, okay, is hygiene. Uh, young, young men who transition into be female, they tend to forget sometimes that, that the smell that they naturally give off when they were men, the testosterone, the sweat and stuff, and that is to attract the female, right? Um, that doesn't just go away immediately. So just, you know, keep mindful of that, right? And if certainly older transsexual women who transitioned older at, at a later age, and like I said, still s stuck in a rut, and they won't change things on certain things, even though they should, as far as wanting to pass, okay? Uh, God, you know, Caitlyn Jenner, I'm just only bringing it up because, again, Caitlyn Jenner, in in, this, in his her 60s, passing, uh, but she, she won't change the voice. She still wants to sound like the previous person. And, I, you know, I'll, I'll power to you, but it does make you go, okay, that's very low. My voice, I, you know, don't, I'm sorry, yeah, I still, mine is still pretty low. And I can't bring it up and I can't do that sort of thing. But it's actually not just how high and low your voice is. It's really how you pronunciate. Hello, hi, the influxes, and la. Women tend to answer up, like, really? Oh, I'm going, you know, low. Um, that's a whole other thing too, right? And there are professionals who can talk about this stuff, but, but the whole talking like, blah, 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 doesn't matter how pretty you are, they're going to go, they're going to be suspect and you're not going to fully pass. And, and this is just me talking. So the smell and, you know, and the hygiene and the voice and the makeup and the surgery, it's all of that is still very, very prevalent. So... I, I have no answers. I, 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 I kind of talk about what I try to do. And I will reiterate that my day-to-day -day life, I rarely get misgendered. Uh, I, it's, you know, maybe once a month, once every couple of months. And I'm out there day-to-day -day in the daily world. So I also think as I present myself very female too, right? I always have, you know, hello, hi breasts and feminine, you know, uh, I don't know. We're still working on it, aren't we? We're still figuring that one out and just keep on trying, get, you know, look at, our, you know, we're in the world 2020, YouTube videos are still available to us. Uh, go check stuff out, get advice and older, take advice and, and learn to maybe try to give up stuff. And that's something maybe, a you know, a therapist might help with. Y'all take care. We'll talk soon. Uh, I'm still doing more 2020 videos because, yeah, this one's already getting over eight minutes. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.